rapper. Only stack rapper that you know is stack rapper. Is there a thing where the duality of hip hop? There's some people who choose this side, some people who choose this side, and it's just gonna be a, a, a back and forth concept. Man, you know, I, I, that, I think that was one of the things that that actually, man, kind of hurt the culture in certain ways, hurt hip hop, um, was that we were like, man, you gotta be gangster, or you gotta, like, we started getting categorized. Mm -hmm. Right. And, man, cause I, I really loved NWA. And I love like, like King T and Compton's Most Wanted, and I really love alcoholics. Loved alcoholics. I really oh, love, and I really mm -hmm. love that you know, like like I said, uh, the New York shit, and then Outkast and Goody Mob. So I think when they started being like, okay, man, this is gangster rap, and that's all you can do, or or making it like, okay, just because you did one song or even a project that got gangster, that's now that you label as gangster. Cause I point blank was labeled just as a conscious nigga at a certain point, like yo, right. he's just conscious. But you didn't start like that, right? I didn't start like that. And then you know, as I evolved, but I was like, man, okay, as a conscious artist, I still like to make these songs. I make these songs, like that's a lot to me. It's like I'm a, I'm a black man. I'm a whole human being, right? And I got lots of. To, did to did you feel like, parts? Did you feel like you was pushed pushed in the brown leather gang? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I feel like I, I feel like I created that too, like to a certain degree. But what I wanted to bring up was, it was, it was, it was tough to see us separating ourselves. Like once it was like, okay, well, Common, Most Deaf, they in the backpack group. Yeah. And then it's Jay Z and, and you know, and these cats, Fifty and DMX, they in the you know big name rappers is you know street this shit. group like street, and it was like. It was almost like we couldn't party together. We couldn't kick it together. Right. But it wasn't, that wasn't how we personally felt, but that's how the music came out. And, and you know, at, at certain points, I feel like we fell into it too. Like, oh, them niggas over there don't like us. Mm -hmm. or, or they might've been like, them niggas think they better than us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't know exactly what, what that was, but I will say a turning point in that for me was when I went to SOBs and saw Kanye performing. It was yeah. when his first album, Right. And he, his album wasn't out yet. And I was like, it was people there with backpacks and they had the rock chains and they was throwing up Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, this is, this, this is, is the merger. This, this, the merge. this right. is what we right. missed. Cause growing up for me, I knew niggas that was dope dealers that were listening to De La Soul. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They was right. listening to Tribe. Like some of the street niggas was listening to that right. too. Mm -hmm. As well as you could be as preppy as you want listening to to shit. Listen to Mob Deep, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Right. So it, we we didn't we weren't separating ourselves. Once we stopped getting boxed in that category, and that you know that's when you know the Willie Lynch letter talk about it, mm -hmm. like you know about yo let's separate. This East separate them. Let's separate them. The East let's make them all go over light skin, dark skin. East East you know East West wasn't there right. yet, but Willie Lynch was it's, talking it's about separation. It's an evolution of the same yeah, thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So I think those boxes made us fall into the to some of that like type of behavior. Like, nah, they, we ain't, until we got around each other, it was like, man, we all are the same elk. We love this shit. But, I, but I gotta say, man, the conscious dudes was throwing stones, man. Y'all was like, <laughs> y'all was we like, was. get out of here yeah, with that. Y'all making club records I mean, over there. We not yeah. doing that, man. You know what like, it is? When you real. used to one way of music and one way of uh, music making you feel good, then you hear some music that don't make you feel good, mm. and, and that's what we fighting with, and that's why we started complaining, <laughs> complaining for some of us, not everybody, but some of us, and that was that's what it was for us, the feeling of hip hop, or how we we had it, and then how it is, mm. right? How it was changing, yes. Yeah. Uh, but I, I have a, what is conscious, right? When you think about it, I, I, just, I just pose a question here. If I'm conscious of what I'm saying, I'm conscious. Right. You don't think a, a rock and roll mom don't know what they're saying, that they talk about devil, devil, kill, kill. They're conscious of what they're saying. So right. I think once we fell into the label of what conscious is, if you know what you're saying, you conscious. I think it was more about the result. I, I, get, I get what you're saying, but, that was, that was, but that's also a manufactured definition in the way the word conscious functions versus mm -hmm. what it really means. 
Right. right. But but I, when I say the conscious guys was the ones throwing I get, stones. I, I understand the sentiment of that. You're speaking about a certain time frame, a snapshot in hip hop. Okay. But if you really think about the overarching function of the word conscious, it does not mean what we have ever really no, used. No, I don't, I don't agree I'm not saying you. I'm not, I'm not saying what you do. I don't agree to, general, to, yes. to that description because I feel like the yeah. street, street, street dudes that was telling their stories, they were still conscious. They was conscious of what right, they were right, saying too. Right, facts. You know what I mean? There's, there's some people who kind of give you both sides yeah. of what happens and in the I, that's streets. What that, that's what yeah. And you respect that's what that. Right. But I have to agree with you and say that and acknowledge that at one point, like the, the conscious artists, including myself, it was a certain <laughs> self-righteousness right. that we that we were living in. And, and it was and part of it was just a young dude growing up when you get a little knowledge, you like. You know, yeah. I know something. He's still here. He's still here. We're going to drop bombs on this thing right there. Look at that. It's him in his veins. And part of it. And part of it. Definitely that. But part, you know, that was just the human side of it, too. Yeah. Of just like being young and feeling like you're getting knowledge and being like, yo, I ain't trying to live that life no more. I'm, or, and, and then, as P said, some of it was just, man, I wasn't getting, you know, you don't get the feeling in the music, too. But it was some street music that was super dope. Like Mob Deep still to this day yeah, is one of my favorite. The infamous album is oh, one of the crazy. best First albums. albums and people that you said got the balance was like the Nas's who was able to right. use street, but he had a consciousness to him. Now he hit that balance. That's what right, Rakim right. was too. Right. But, but the point is, is um, I do I will acknowledge that it was a moment where even if you looked at some of our videos, it was taking shots at the money makers in mm. in in um in hip hop. Right. But but we but I well, think why that, was it? I think that was because we felt like, hey, y'all know y'all love this culture and don't make this all about money. Cause it cause if so, people gonna start following and they're gonna lose what the true essence of this and is. And we're mm. here now. Mm. Thank you, bro. And that happened. Yeah, they, we're here now. And that this, definitely this, happened. This is the result this, of, this, this, of this, not live, the live, 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 live now. Yeah, now now we're That's here to the point where That's money cool. is more important than talent. And, and way more. No, no, it wasn't like that. That's not how I got on. That's not how he got on. We got on because we had something for real, and you know, right. we're and, not at that point. And, and you and come on, man, we all from hoods, wherever. Right. We from the, if if I'm on TV waving money, and and I'm watching you from, you know. 35th and, and low in, in Chicago, <laughs> right. like, I'm gonna be like, damn, I want that. Like, I'm sitting here dealing with the struggle in, a, in another way. My mother trying to work these jobs. You know, we know the situations we come from. Right. So then you see that, we like, oh, I wanna be that. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's not all of who we were. Right. And it just was, it wasn't depicting like what we needed to be as, as, as a people. And as, and, and as a culture too, right. like, cause if we put the money first, and, so and, 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 and even even certain billionaires would tell you that, that they didn't pursue that that money was their first thing. Right. They found something that they were, they loved, Love. something that they an idea that they came up with and they pursued it with passion, and right. it became a a, a a billionaire business. A, but, a billion but can, but can business. you knock uh, the people who figured out a cheat code to bypass the lyricism? Like no offense, can you, let's you say, say like can you a knock em? like a Birdman. Right. Like we know nobody's like in a rush to hear a killer Birdman sixteen, <laughs> but he's young. He but, but, but he still made records yeah. that people people could vibe to. Man, that's it. <laughs> Turn smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper. 